Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to Utembul. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. And of course, the first Earth post of the day is one of these. The Fukushima accident was very unfortunate and hits me hard because I have a degree in nuclear engineering and have been working in the nuclear power industry for over 20 years. Please, just show me the casserole recipe. For a split second, my dumbass thought the Fukushima nuclear accident had fried the rice. You're telling me the Fukushima nuclear accident and fried this rice? <laughs> You know, as humans, we will without fail make mistakes. It is unavoidable. You will make decisions with your best judgment in mind and still come short of your own expectations. Most will tell you that such mistakes are an important part of life and that and that what really matters is what we can what can be learned from them. However, there are some mistakes that are so that are not so easily re resolved with such thinking. There are mistakes that will forever change your identity as a human being. Mistakes that will leave a scar on your soul or, or, or never to heal. Mistakes, the causes of which will forever outweigh any lessons that can be learned. Mistakes that will follow you to your grave and beyond. So I tried that pineapple and, and jalapeno of pizza from Dead Stranger Things promotion. It's bad. <laughs> Me, Earth, getting hotter, but for sure more unstable every year. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this dreams come true! What does it take for your dreams, the big, huge, wild ones, to come true? God says mix fit eight with prayer. How do you do that? What the hell? Okay. Tumblr is getting very interesting now. In a way that I did not expect. Why why is Tumblr talking about Applejack? From the My Little Pony series? I almost forgot that series existed. Alright. Okay, it finally loaded, and we're already zoomed in. Learning that fans hated Applejack and called her boring is crazy to me. Because I genuinely, unironically believe if Applejack's the most complex character in the main six. Backstories wise, she was born into a family of farmers or blue collar workers who helped found the town she lives in. She grew up a habitual liar until she had that bad and habit traumatized out of her. She lost both her parents and was orphaned at a young age, having to step up as her baby sister's mother figure. She's the only person in the main end gang who's experienced this level of loss and grief. A royal problem reveals that, that Applejack dreams about memories of being held by her parents as a baby. She moved to Manhattan to live with her wealthy family members, only to realize she'll never fit in or be accepted, even amongst her own family. The earlier seasons imply uh, she and her family had money problems too. In the ticket master, Applejack wants to go to the Ella uh, to earn money to buy new farm equipment and afford hip surgery for her grandma. Personality-wise, she's a total people pleaser or steamroller with an occasional savior complex, who places her self-worth on her independence and usefulness for other people, causing her to become a complete workaholic. And Applebuck season, Applejack stops taking care of herself because of her obsessive responsibilities for others and becomes completely dysfunctional. 
in Apple Family Reunion, AJ has a tearful breakdown because as, as she thinks she dishonored her family and tires her reputation as a potential leader. An expectation and anxiety that's directly tied to her deceased parents. As shown in the episode's ending scene. In the last roundup, AJ bans her family and friends out of shame because as she believes she failed them by not earning first place in a rodeo competition. She completely spirals emotionally when she isn't able to fulfill her duties towards others. Her need to be the best manifests an intense pride and competitiveness when others challenge her. And when her pride's broken, she cowers and physically hides herself. Moreover, it's strongly implied that AJ has a deep state in anger. The comics explore her ranting outbursts more. Each EQG has uh, also obviously has as AJ yelling at and insulting in rarity and a jealous fit just to hurt her feelings with a line that I could write I'd hold this section on, and I'm certain and I read that in a, in a post somewhere that a, in a game left event, AJ's negative traits are listed as anger. I can't read that. Very unfortunate. But don't worry, there is more. And I might not even have to pause it, who knows. There we go. Subtextually, a lot of these flaws and anxieties can be retroactively linked to her parents' death, forcing her to grow up too quickly to become the adult or or kill or giver of the family, especially after her big brother becomes semi-verbal. Notice how throughout the series, she's constantly acting as the mom friend of the group. Despite everything, she manages to be the most emotionally mature of the bunch. Notice how... how Oh, Applejack will switch to a quieter, calmer tone with her friends of panicking and use soothing prompts and questions to talk them through their emotions and problems. Something she'd definitely pick up while right raising a child. Same with her stoicism and reluctance at crying or releasing emotion. Something Pinky explicitly points out. She also had a childhood relationship with Rara, uh, which if you were... Or, or to give if a queer reading could easily be interpreted as her first aha crush, who eventually left her life. Interestingly enough, Applejack also has an angry outburst with Rara for the exact same reasons as with. It, 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 oh, it's a question and girl's rarity. Jealous, upset that someone else is using and changing her. It's not hard to imagine an Applejack with separation anxiety stemming from her mother and childhood. A, a friend or crush leaving. I'm also above reading into Applejack's relationship with her little sister. You'll ever think about how oh, Apple Bloom never got to know her parents even though she shares her father's colors and her mother's curly hair. Damn. Okay. I haven't watched this in forever. I didn't... I forgot that it, that at... At My Little Pony Lore can go this dark. Maybe I should watch this again. Applejack's stubbornness is a symptom of growing up too quickly as well. Who else is who else to play with your baby sister when your brother goes nonverbal? Not to discount Big Max Roland raising in Apple Bloom. Who else to wake up in the middle of the night to care for your a crying baby sister when your grandma needs a rest. When you need to be 100% all of the time for your family, you you become you tend to become um, hard stuck with a sense of moral superiority. You know what's best because you have to be your best because if you aren't your best, then everything will eventually fall apart and it'll be your fault. If you don't know what's best, if you've been and wrong the whole time, that means you haven't been your best, which means you've failed the people who rely on you. 
which means you can fulfill your role in the family or society, which makes you worthless. We've seen time and time again how this compulsive need to be right for the sake of others becomes self-destructive. In the Apple Family Reunion, Sound of, of Silence, All Competitions Against and Rainbow Dash, we've seen the last uh, us round up how, when no longer at her best, Applejack would rather remove herself from her community than confront them because she no longer or feels of use to them. But I guess it is kind of weird that AJ has masculine traits and isn't interested in men at all. It's solely justified that an aggressively straight, misogynistic male fandom would characterize her as a boring background character. Sorry, guys. At the time of writing this, it's 4.46 a.m. Yeah. Fascinated by Applejack struggles with sexual identity. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even scroll to the next one. Dress how you want! Gender is fake! Nothing matters! I like gender, though. Hell yeah, I respect that! I apologize and don't mean to dismiss your identity with my optimistic nihilism. <laughs> Good post, OP. Denounce gender roles, but respect gender identity. Denounce gender roles, but respect gender identity. Again, for those in the back who, who are still not listening. Oh, God. Another one? Didn't I just go on, an, on a rant about Applejack? I think I need to stop with the long ones. Oh, well. There's no escaping it now. We are not free of the long on Tumblr posts. We will never be free. Because the writers who visit Tumblr don't know how, any other way to take screenshots. One of my favorite Steve Jobs stories was the time the engineers working on the iPad brought their finished prototype to him in his office. He said it was too big. They needed to make it smaller. They said it was as small as they could make it. It couldn't be made any smaller. So they took the... ...a prototype over to his aquarium and dropped it in. The iPod sank to the bottom. And as it did, tiny little bubbles came out. See those bubbles? He asked. They're air inside the iPod. Make it smaller. Work those, those hands harder. I was about to make a really bad joke. I'm probably going to later. Another story about Steve Jobs was when they brought the prototype for the iPad 2 to his office. The engineers told him it was faster than the first iPad. He took it over to his aquarium and dropped it in. Look how slowly it sank, he told them. Make it faster! One time, a newly hired intern had been sent out to get Steve a sandwich. When she brought it to him, he looked at it. I thought I ordered the beef on rye, he asked. She told him it was indeed beef on rye. He took it over to his fridge-ish tank and dropped it in. Does that look like beef on rye? He was always dropping things in that fish tank. We couldn't stop him. He, we told him he had to stop. He wouldn't listen. It was full of stuff that shouldn't be in an aquarium. Fish had all died years ago. One had been crushed under an earlier generation iMac. The others were all poisoned. He didn't care. It got to the point where there was no room for anything in the fish tank. When we emptied it after he died, we found a body in there. We never found out who it was. Mm 
That doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough about Steve Jobs to dispute it. Same. <laughs> like, that sounds crazy, but... What that Apple isn't? One, no, two, six chicken nuggets. Why would you order 17 of 6 instead of 5 of 20? That shit's expensive as hell. Getting 2 for or pieces is cheaper than 1 6 piece. Know your nuggets. But getting 1 20 piece is cheaper than 3 6 pieces. Know your nuggets. This is how word, ma word problems for math books are started, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh hey. I think we're almost done with time look for or now. Guess I have a couple more posts. The easy Twitter must have been insane when I got out that Superboy's dad ads for Superman and Lex Luthor. Holy shit! The memes, the ship wars, the homophobes, the Amfrag jokes. People would have lost their fucking minds. Lex Luthor releases a statement like, "He's a clone of me and Superman, and no birth was involved." And people are, all are like, "Kind of gay." Maybe to have a son with another man, Luthor. Lex Corp's PR team locks himself in a conference room and refuses to come out for or love or money. This fights during Lex's president era and he has to give a Bill Clinton style speech about it. I did not have sexual relations with that Kryptonian. Lex Luthor, I did not have sexual relations with Superman. I simply stole his DNA and created a child from it without his consent. Everyone of in my Atropolis. Okay, but that's worse. You do get how that's worse, right? <laughs> right? Alright, next one. Oh my, you were battling, weren't you? Who was it this time? It was Ho. That's nice. Huh? Can someone from the Pokemon fandom explain this? I don't understand Nurse Droid's reaction. Ho is basically a minor deity, so Nurse Droid pretty much just heard this 10 year old say, Hey, I threw a rat at a god. I threw a rat at a god. The best part, Pikachu is awake. Pokemon faint upon being fainted. What Nurse Joy heard was more along the lines of, I threw a mouse at a god, and the mouse won. What is a king to a god? What is a god to a ten-year-old with an electric mouse? Maybe God should have rethought the flying in typing if he did want his ass kicked by an electric mouse. <laughs> Pokemon, why? Alright, this has to be the end because it was the beginning of yesterday's video. Why are you doing this? I guess you could call me an American Psycho. I can't say the word psycho right. What I the heck? Anyway, I have not watched this movie. This is my best approximation of the plot. Yeah, that's basically it. Yep, this has been Tumblr. Well, that was r slash Tumblr. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I have no idea what the name of this video is even going to be. I'll figure it out. So, until tomorrow.
Goodbye.